Hello, welcome to my channel, Bringer of Light Intuitive. I'm Cindy. Thank you so much for being here. This is a message that is whatever spirit has for you. And it's part of a new series that I'm doing. Who am I reading for? I just want to deliver a message that somebody needs to hear. And I want to know who you are that needs to hear it. So please comment below if this message resonates for you. If it sounds like your story or if it sounds like something that you've been through, please let me know because I want to know who I'm reading for. All right. Know that these are timeless and there is a playlist for these uh, who am I reading for readings. So you can feel free to go through that playlist and see what might be there for you. I have some good news. We're going to go ahead and jump in and get started. I've got some good news here. The Three of Cups is good news that you have probably been waiting for. You've probably been manifesting. It could have to do with love. It doesn't have to. They're celebrating and they are very happy and feeling very grateful because there is this good news that is attached to this energy is like things turning out better than you thought. All right, so if you are waiting for some sort of good news to come in, or if you're waiting for a green light on a situation, or if you're waiting on a legal situation perhaps, anything like that, you can expect good news to be coming in. And I'm going to say within the next three weeks from whatever it is that you are read watching this reading. So let's see what Spirit has for you in regards to that. What else do you need to know about that? Yeah, it's way better than you think. So you may be expecting something, you know, to happen in a situation that you've been waiting for. And you might have a picture in your mind of what that should look like or how it should play out. And Spirit is saying, open your mind to think bigger because, and even if your mind can't wrap your, your wrap around something bigger or better, it's okay. Just know that there is some something big coming in that is actually going to end up being better than you think. You have, you're blessed for choice here. It's, there's more to your story here. There's a lot of, find, I'm sorry, a lot of emotional opportunities here that you might not have expected that are attached to this good news. So it's like there, there's something more here than you think. There's, there's, you're blessed with excess here. So it's like whatever this is that you're waiting for, the two of these together equals the 10 of cups. This is, this is rewards. This is contentment. This is peace. This is trustworthiness in a relationship. This could be a very, you know, a soulmate relationship. You, the, your good news may be you meeting somebody that you end up spending your life with. Somebody that you communicate well with. Somebody that you can trust and you know this right away. And or this is fortune after difficulty. Whatever it is that you are waiting for, I'm here to tell you that the outcome is better than you think. All right, so get ready for some good news to come here very soon within between the next three to seven weeks. All right, from whenever it is that you are seeing this message. Okay, so I've got the three of swords here too, and that's for me verifying uh, the three weeks. So I feel like you are going to hear something that you've been waiting for in the next three weeks. I need to turn this down. All right, in the heart of the spread, I've got the, the devil card here. And I've also got the hermit card here. So I feel like you may be needing to or recently detach from a karmic, maybe soulmate situation, a karmic connection, something that is probably codependent. Maybe this is a recent past situation where you're, you're single now. Maybe you fi finally decided to let go of a situation that just was not serving you anymore and it was feeling more of a toxic and unhealthy situation than maybe it used to. And now, and you finally let go, I'm just feeling this energy of this has been a long time coming. I don't know why, because I don't actually see that here. But I feel like this being in the heart of your spread, I feel like you're newly single or you are about to be. And it's something that your, like your heart has been telling you to do. Your heart has been telling you there's more to your story here. There's more happiness and joy in your future here. But this is not it. This is not, it may used to been good, you know, it may used to, you know, may used to been good. That's my, 
way of saying things okay so it's, it used to be something maybe that you were emotionally connected to it was at one point it was something good sometimes people are not coming into our future with us sometimes things are meant for a season and not for a lifetime and it's okay and you may need to be told that it's okay there is a light within you that has been shining and telling you to let go of something because it has become toxic, it's become unhealthy, it's become codependent. And if it is codependent, it is very hard to let go of. And that's why I feel like this could have been a long time coming. But the hermit says your heart has been telling you, the light within you has been telling you it's time for you to be you know, step out of this situation. It's time for you to be single for a while. It's time for you to listen to your heart that is leading you to your Ten of Cups. The situation is not your Ten of Cups, but you maybe know that and you're letting go of this and you're, you're like, I know that I deserve more. I know that there's more to my story. I know that there's more happiness than this. I know that this is not serving me anymore and there must be something better for me, right? Let this card, let this card, let this reading serve as a confirmation for you that you have come full circle in this situation. You have, that person was in your life for a reason. That per person was meant to teach you lessons and you were meant to teach them lessons. The world card says you've come full circle in a situation. You've learned a lot. You've learned everything you were supposed to learn in that. And you have mastered lessons. You've mastered the learning. You're done. And it's meant to close. So let this be confirmation that you're making the right decision or you maybe have made the right decision because for some of you, this is going to be past energy. Now, this is where I ask. I want to know who you are in the comments if you care to share because sometimes it's uncomfortable. If you care to share about a situation that you have recently walked out of or your heart has been telling you to leave a situation that has become toxic or unhealthy for you, let me know and know that my community here is safe and that we, you know, we're all on different ends of this spectrum. And for those of us who are still stuck in this, we want to know what did you do? How did you find your confidence and your courage so that we can congratulate you and celebrate with you? But also for the rest of us, we need the hope. We need to know that we're making the right decision. We need to know that what's on the other side is actually better than what we think. And it's scary. You know, it's scary to let go. And maybe you've been caught in this should I or shouldn't I energy for a long time. And then maybe you actually took the step and you made you made this change. You left this relationship and now you're celebrating your victory. There's a lot of hurts here. And they were all designed to be lessons for you to learn how to come into your power standing in your Queen of Swords truth. I call her my truth queen. I call her my boundary queen. You know, whatever it is that you have been dealing with in this, maybe possibly a codependent situation or a toxic connection, you've learned your truth. You've learned what you want and what you don't want. You may have a list of what you don't want that's longer than what you do want, and that's okay. You just do you, but you've come into this place of knowing your truth, regardless of what that looks like. And you know that your truth says, this does not align with me. And it's time to go. And now, you're going to receive victory, promotion, success. You've conquered what kept you there. You've conquered your fear. You've conquered, you know, the comfort zone thing. You've conquered letting go of this very difficult cycle and you're coming into a place of victory and success. The universe is smiling on you. The universe is shining a light on you. The universe is promoting you. You have nothing but good things in store. Remember, we have the, the Ten of Cups here in these two cards. So let's 
let's keep going. All right, let's keep going. What is it that you can expect from making this decision and moving out of this relationship? What, what can you expect? What is that victory? What does it look like to you? We've got a new adventure here. And it may start out with you taking baby steps, and that's okay. But you're going to find that you're going to feel so free. You're going to feel like you are starting out on an amazing new adventure. The whole, your whole life is ahead of you. No matter what age you are, you are free. And you are free to create whatever it is that you want. You're free to follow your passion and your, your fire on the inside of you. you. What you may not realize is that you're being divinely guided. You've got a little buddy that is on this new path with you that is leading you to the places that you need to be, that are soul aligned with you, that will make you happy. Your heart and your soul knows the way to that 10 of cups. And so they assign a little, a little friend here, a soul buddy that is on your path, that is leading you in the way that is going to be the most fun. This looks fun. He's full of adventure. He's full of childlike faith and excitement. This is something that will light your fire and your passion and your purpose in life. You're going in the direction that feeds your soul. So your soul is going to take you to what will make you happy. Let's see what that looks like. Let's get some more cards. You cannot make this stuff up. These just came out together. Are you kidding me here? You, I just hear you saying, why didn't I do this so long ago? On the other side of this is love coming in. Okay, love coming in that's actually soul aligned with you. It's actually your destiny. Your intuition has probably been telling you to leave this situation for a long time because you know you're going to have to go through some healing and everything and you're going to meet somebody here on the other side that is actually ready for love and they are being brought right to you and look it's like they're tied together this is your destiny this is your destined partner this is your marriage celebration at some point you're going to end up if that's what you want is marriage you're leaving a toxic situation that you have been feeling in your heart to do for a long time. And on the other side of that is you starting a whole new life, following your passion and your purpose and being led right to your destined partnership that you will spend your life with. This is a marriage celebration. Now, if you're not looking for marriage, but you are looking for love, let this be whatever it is that you want. Maybe this is you moving in together. And no, I'm not saying that this is going to happen overnight. What I am saying is that you are following your soul, your fire, your passion. You're listening to your heart that's leading you on this new journey that is bringing you. Look, he's on a path and he is on a path coming right to you. Your little soul friend here is leading you to this love coming in, okay? Now, this person is the kind of person that is, that is ready to pour out all of their love all over you. I feel like you may have been in a situation, this last situation may have been where you were pouring in all of your love. And maybe you didn't receive very much in return. Or, you know, maybe you didn't feel heard or seen or validated. Maybe you didn't feel respected. Maybe you didn't feel like you were worthy of anything because of how this person treated you. Well, this one that's coming in is, first of all, it's so aligned with you. It's your destiny. So it's going to be amazing, okay? This person is sensitive and sweet. This person is romantic. This person wants to wine you and dine you. This person is overflowing with love and it makes your heart go pitter-patter. OK, 
okay this person is very good looking and finds you very good looking there's a lot of attraction here they may love to travel they may be a water sign or a fire sign they don't have to be but I've got water and fire in these cards all right this person is on the same page as you wants the same things as you has the same goals for love as you you may or may not want to get married they may or may not want to get married whatever it is that you want this person is going to want the same thing this is what i'm seeing that you both are going to feel alive stable you're going to feel immediately that you can trust each other you have a balanced healthy stable whole relationship as opposed to what you were used to in the past i feel codependency in the past and that may not be for all of you I feel like you're going to be feeling like you're great you're grateful there's gratitude in this card there's so much gratitude because everything has landed and 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 uh, worked out better than you thought it's hard to leave a situation especially if it's codependent it's hard because you can't see on the other side of it. It's hard because you don't know if you're ever going to find love again. And you're like in this comfort zone. Should I leave or should I just settle? This is here to tell you on the other side of that is way better than you could ever have thought. If you could imagine love, you wouldn't have imagined love this good. Because our brains just, this is way better. Okay? You're going to be celebrating. You're going to feel stable. You're going to feel whole. You're going to feel seen. You're going to feel heard. Look at, they're both seeing each other, validating each other, hearing each other. They're on the same page. They want the same things. And look, in this card, in this deck, there's orbs here. You're being divinely directed right to them. So if you're still feeling that fear of leaving a situation that is not feeding your soul, know that on the other side of this, you're going to have some part, a bit of healing, but you are being guided to what is right for you that is beyond what you have ever asked or thought or imagined for yourself. There's our victory again. You're going from somebody who holds back their time, their energy, their effort, their emotion to somebody who is ready to share emotion with you right now for the rest of your life. I think I'm going to leave it here. Somebody is getting ready to meet this person. Somebody's either getting ready to let go of a toxic connection and needs to know that this is on the other side. Somebody is already meeting this person and this whole thing is confirmation for you. I want to know who you are. Who am I reading for? Which end of the spectrum are you? Please comment below and let us know so we can congratulate and support you. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm so happy for you that I started coughing. <laughs> oh, that was weird. <laughs> let me know who you are who am I reading for comment below and let me know where you are on this spectrum and thank you for watching if you want a private reading with me that information is down below I would love for you to subscribe and join my team here also hit that like button on the way out I appreciate you thank you so much for watching these this series has been so fun for me and I am going to keep posting. So feel free to look through the playlist and see what else is here for you.